سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله على كل حال Dear ways, today we are going to talk about Eid al-Fitr and then we'll also talk about aftermath of Ramadan, that's post-Ramadan. My guest, as usual, is Hajia Rukaya Damale. Hajia, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, Hajia, we are at the verge of completing Ramadan fast Inshallah. and after Ramadan it will be Eid al-Fitr. Adia, what constitutes Eid al-Fitr? Alhamdulillah. Uzbillah min ash-shaitan wa-jim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Simply put, Eid day, Eid day is a day of celebration, yeah. a day of relaxation, mm. a day of showing love, a day of giving. Um, showing gratitude to Allah for a whole month of a lifetime filled with blessings and uh, special 10 days within that month mm -hmm. within which we would have exerted ourselves to seek Allah's mercy, mm -hmm. to seek His forgiveness mm -hmm. and to ask for His blessings and to ask for a change in direction in our destinies. Mm -hmm where it matters most yeah so the future is the climax mm. the climax of all these activities all right the climax of the activities of ramadan is Eid al fitr adia rasulullah said that during it we should come out with our best we should dress we should eat we should make me but before we talk about dress code uh, during Eid al-Fitr, let's talk about the Eid ground. When we come to the Eid ground, what are some of the things that we should be doing? Because most of the time you see people talking, snapping pictures, people doing all sorts of things. But we have something that the Prophet taught us to do at the Eid ground. Can you elaborate that for us? Inshallah, alhamdulillah. Um, I would even take a step back before we get to the Eid ground, Naam. I would look at um, the kind of preparation we do as women okay. from home. Okay, that's the dressing. That's why no, we'll talk no, about not, that. No, not the dressing. The preparation we do before we get the that that mental picture the we mindset have of that what we have. the Eid should be. Okay. One, it is compulsory. We take a bath. Good. We take a gusso. Mm -hmm. And that is very, very, very important. Of course, it is important we do we do before we set off there. Because of our hairstyles and our haste to be in what we think we are the, our best, we forget some of these norms. And yet they are, they are very important spiritually. Yes. You are going to pray without wudu. You, you wouldn't have taken your bath. I mean, gusul. That is unheard of. So it is very important we take a bath. Mm -hmm. We do wudu before we dress up and set off mm -hmm. to the eight grounds. And on our way to the eight grounds, we must take, we must eat because we are not fasting. Yes. And so we must eat something yeah, yeah. before we set off. Yeah. When you set, you eat, at least gargle or have a mouth wash and wash your mouth so that your mouth is nicely scented. Don't go with smelling, onion with and garlic the, smelling the wadawa your wadawa breath. And I yes. I like my you, two in the mouth, so don't go smelling the yes. wadawa in Bao the means mouth. eat your two yes. and all the kuka and ayoyo that you want to eat. But when you finish, at least you brush your teeth or use a mouthwash to gargle and then rinse nicely. You right. perform ablution. The Prophet, our Salam beloved Allah Prophet Allah Salam Salam. has taught us to use the siwak. So if it is not too much to ask, we can use that instead of brush. Adia, or if, is, Adia, what is siwak? Because some might I mean, not the chewing understand. stick. Yes. Chewing stick mm -hmm. to just get the um, 
leftovers yeah, from in between our teeth so that you can smile nicely to the cameras and take your picture after the eat prayer and put by and everything. So that mindset is, is important. I mean that freshness, that groom is important. And then Aja, when before, we set before off, you continue, mm -hmm. you talked about gusu, we should bath, the spiritual bath. Yes. Before. Is it compulsory? Because uh, according to some narrations of uh, scholars, that go that gusu is not actually uh, the, the third, uh, it's naf nawafil. So you can decide to take your normal bath with mm -hmm. soap, mm -hmm. and then is it or Well, I haven't read anywhere it's compulsory. Mm -hmm. But what I want to always vouch for is that mm -hmm. anything that has a little blessing in there, I want to have Grab a bit it. of it. <laughs> yes, I want to have a bit of it. Mm -hmm. So if it is not too much to ask, mm -hmm. why don't you do it? Okay. So like, there is blessing in Gusu, bathing the spiritual bath, but yes. it's not entirely compulsory. I haven't you read anywhere. You can decide anyway. to bath with your normal soap and water. Exactly. Okay. I haven't so, read anywhere. All right. All right. And, and, and then so it will be an additional yes. something, the yes. Gusu. Yes. After bathing with soap and water, and then you do the Gusu, uh, the, uh, the, 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 gusu, the traditional mm. Gusu that yes. we do when we are going to Juma Malt mm. or when we finish our Haila or whatever. Yes. 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 And and we have to also take note that we don't wear perfume. Okay. Even if it's a body splash. For splashed, women, right? Yes, women. Mm -hmm. Then it should be something that you would feel on your body and not something that would announce your presence. Okay. So something mild will do. Well, I won't even uh, tread that road. For I the would, perfume. I would say that mm. avoid as much as you can. Okay. Anything that would unsettle others. Okay. That would draw attention to yourself okay. in terms of <coughs> fragrance. Try to avoid like the that. deodorant. Uh, it should be mild, not that too scented. That exactly. will attract people. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And okay. then what? Where you are the part you take. Mm. Make sure that the part you take to the eat grounds. Mm. You it is it is desirable no, that you change the direction. That's the prophet's yes. tradition. That's his yes. tradition. Yes. So you change the tradition. Mm. So I mean, you change the path. Mm. from which you you come back mm. from the eat grounds and mm. whilst you set off mm. you do your zikr subhanallah mm. walhamdulillah mm. walla ilaha illallah allahu akbar allahu akbar walla ilaha up to the eat grounds up to the eat grounds okay so let me ask we, are, this we were question. talking before going i mean before the, before the eat grounds so this is what our chipping before right. the eat grounds all right viewers you are watching the dean gh tv and we are talking to Ajia Rukaya Damale. Ajia, you were talking about um, uh, walking the way where you walk, you set off from the house to the aid ground. When you close from aid, you don't pass through that route. You change your route. And that's the tradition of our beloved Rasulullah. What if the person is not treading on food but in a car? Well, if the options are open, Mm. If there is that opportunity mm. for you to change routes, even driving, mm. even you can, driving, you can, you can do that. But if it's one way, if it's one way, if it's, if no it's you live in a residential uh, area and it's a close, mm. you come from one end and you go back the same end. Then of course there's nothing you, you can, can do, do about that one. All right. So Adia, we've come to the eat ground. All right. So we've come to the eat grounds. Normally, we have in our social setting, we go to a park or an open place mm -hmm. and that's where we are uh, yeah in Taka we do it at Jubilee Park right. in Kumasi we also do it at the Central Mosque right. and there are other places that Kumasi is big exactly. and so uh, there are other places that uh, it, it takes place exactly. but uh, majority of the populace come to the Central Mosque and right. very very uh, beautiful and All enjoyable right. Right. Mm. so once you get there the setting is that our mats are spread mm. for you to sit down it's what you are going to do in the first place is a nafra. Mm. It's a, an optional prayer. Uh, uh, what eight, you are going ground. to uh, what you are going to do for that day, the prayer. Okay, okay. Nafil. The eight prayer in yes. itself is yes. nawafil. Yes. And so, and there so is there's no, no need for you to go and do any observe any nafra. Okay. When you go, you go and sit down and continue with your zikr. Okay. So Aja, what you are saying is that from the home to the eat ground, you mm -hmm. say your zikr. Yes. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, walla ilaha illallah, walla wa akbar. 
Wallahi alhamdu up to the eighth ground. Yes. The moment you get there, you sit down. You don't do nafila. No. Viewers, we don't do nafila because the eighth prayer itself is nafil. Mm -hmm. So you don't do any prayer. Just sit down and start doing your zikr. Moisten your mouth, your tongue with zikr. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha. You can do istighfar. La ilaha illa anta astaghfirullah to be ilahi. Subhanallah. Walhamdulillah. Up till the imam comes. comes. Right. Sometimes you have um, one of the men who would get up and, and lead you in the zikr and then we'll be so that you follow. After, so yes. that, that also is desirable. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. so that is at the eat ground. Okay. What I have observed, mm. I have uh, I went to pray at a place in, in Sawam mm -hmm. uh, and other places, and mm. you see um, the kind of situation where you have uh, photographers crisscrossing, particularly those are not uh, those who are well, not, not Muslims. Muslims. You have fun, fun ice cream, fun yogurt mm. sellers crisscrossing, mm. you mm. know, and it's it's so bad. So I, I ask. If we were in your church building, would you enter with your uh, bicycle or your foot, your camera, come and be taking the shot or mm. selling? Mm. But I realize it is we who allow yes, them in. Yes, we do. We allow. When we have Muslim women leadership mm. really functioning, they send them off. Mm. They send them off. They ask them to keep uh, their distance until we finish. They encourage them that when we finish. Then they can engage in that. But I think uh, yeah, I point. think every town has its aid committee, mm. a committee that is formed to see to the uh, aid grounds and then aid prayers. Mm. Committee is there. I think they should put measures in place to see to it that such things will not happen. Mm. Yes, the photographers can be there. We look beautiful. We want to take a memorable picture, but they should be at the backyard of or back back at the back of the mosque or the aid ground. And then after, we can go there and snap our beautiful pictures. But not to come and then be crisscrossing while spread. Sometimes you see imam comes, Allah, wa akbar. And, and then are, you see, yes, running, helter, skelter, and so on. And that doesn't augur well. So please, our leaders, our mocks management committees, our aid committee, uh, uh, committee, you should see to it. It happens, I pray at Kumasi, so, and it happens often. It happens. May Allah help us. Um, May Allah forgive us. Um, Adia, let's talk. We are still at the eat ground. Yes. So we are saying our subhanallah, our zikir yes. and the rest. Yes. And then the imam comes. Mm. Let, let, me, let me ask. Uh, women, some women during uh, eat, you will see that they are in their cycle. They mm. can't pray. Mm. Can they come to the eat ground? Of course they can. Mm. That's it's a, a day for merry making. You know, Islam does not discriminate. Mm. It just sets the standards mm. and, and the barriers. Mm. Do this. Uh, it, it is done because of this. You are, women are lo not left out. Men uh, have their roles. Women have their roles. So women who are even menstruating mm. would bath and dress up nicely with their veils mm. and come and stand at the back and also engage in their zikr because mm. If you are menstruating, it doesn't stop you from seeking God's guidance. It doesn't stop you from praising seeking Allah. God's mercy. It doesn't mm. stop you from praising Allah mm. or seeking His blessings on the Prophet. Yes. So they are encouraged to do all this. The yeah. only difference is that they don't go to sit on the prayer mat yeah. and, and pray uh, as, as if they were in normal times. Mm. In fact, even uh, it, because it's a big day, Mm -hmm. a, a big day, even the sick are brought to the eat yes. ground. It's yes. just like Arafah, when you go to Mecca, mm -hmm. Arafah, whether you are sick, whether you are whatever, everybody is brought there in a wheel. You see mm -hmm. them on a stretch. So in Kumasi, I've seen wheelchair, old ladies always sitting in a wheelchair, being wheeled to the eat ground. And it is beautiful, mm -hmm. well-dressed, very beautiful uh, and, and very nice. And so may Allah give us the blessing of Eid al Fitr. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's talk about um, uh, the post Ramadan after Eid. You know, we are still Allah conscious. We are still that the Ramadan mood is still there. Then after Eid al Fitr, uh, what next? You realize that most of times, most of, we are all human. We are not saying we can't sing. We are human beings. Sometimes we forget. But uh, the way we fasted for thirty days or twenty nine days. We've gathered Allah consciousness. We feel in us. We believe that Allah has accepted our prayers. 
we in fact that belief is very strong when it comes to me i believe allah has accepted my despite my faults my 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 listen yes allah has accepted my dua and so uh what next you see that we forget that we just came from ramadan mm. and we forget the mocks we don't go again we don't pray congregational prayers again sometimes we don't even have time for allah again well what i you? would i would come to that briefly mm. um, but if you'd allow me mm. i think we haven't even addressed mm. one critical issue which is the dressing with which we come to we'll come to that we'll come we'll to come that. to that we'll, we'll come, come to the dressing okay. it's very, it's the, i want us to talk about this then right. we talk about the dressing right. because right. It, it's it's it has become even viral on facebook and other social medias okay. that our young ladies muslims what they are taking uh, uh our dress so right. it's it's a, a distance right. we will do a comprehensive discussion on it so right. let's go on the uh, post ramadan all right um, thank you. I think that having, give, having been given the opportunity mm. to observe 30 or 29 days of fast, mm. having gotten that close to Allah, mm -hmm. I and other Muslims, including you, would want to perpetually stay there. Sure. Would want to remain um, close to Allah mm. and, uh, and have Allah close to us. Mm would want to still have that God consciousness. Yes. And so we would have to do everything it takes mm. to maintain that posture. Yes. After Ramadan, we still have the traditions of the prophets in, terms of, Salaam, in terms of the two Mondays, Thursdays, Fasting. or three days in a month fast mm. that we can be observing. Mm. We still are um, encouraged not to sleep the whole night till after sunrise, when we get up to do our uh, fajr. Okay, what yeah. you are saying is that in Ramadan, mm. we we did not miss fajr prayers. Exactly. And so after Ramadan, we shouldn't exactly. miss that. Exactly. Because it's equally important. Exactly. Okay. Because, look, as I last year, this, just before Ramadan, mm. if, if um, you would recall, mm. we lost two or three very key... Imams mm. or, or scholars, Muslim scholars, mm. uh, Sheikh Shuaib, um, Sheikh Musa, mm -hmm. uh, and then there, there was one, there, there was this other one, a third Sheikh one. Shuaib, is it the one at Metro TV? Yes, the one the who does the, the, the one who does the Metro yes. TV. Very, and, uh, very Sheikh eloquent. Musa, Sheikh Musa yeah. also does that. Mm. We lost this dear yeah. ones, yes. and many others you and I may not know yes. about. Yes. Look at the kind of ibadah they have done, mm, and mm. yet they didn't. They didn't. They, Allah has destined that that is where it ends it's for them. Big. They didn't get the opportunity of Ramadan. Yes. So if you and I um, have been kept alive, not because of our righteousness, mm. but because our destined time is not up yet, mm. and we've gotten the blessings of Ramadan, mm. should we be playing with any day or two after Ramadan? No, no we might even not know when. Exactly, we don't okay. know if the next year would would we'll have a. A portion, mm -hmm. and so we must make our effort and mm -hmm. ask for Allah's help mm -hmm. and remain steadfast, remain righteous, mm -hmm. remain Allah's servants, mm -hmm. trying very hard to win over Allah's love mm -hmm. and to gain a place in Jannah. Mm -hmm. May Allah make it easy for us. Amen. Yeah, Viewers, right. you are still watching the Dean GH TV brought to you by Al Mu'i Development Foundation and Dean Dawa. Project. My guest is always Hajia Rukaya Damale. I am, I am Fatima Baba Ahmed Kone. We'll be back to talk about the dress code during Eid al Fitr and even after Eid al Fitr. <laughs> so much good we pray that it never ends but we know you gotta go as the seasons come and go cause your time is set by law oh ramadan oh ramadan mother mercy you are welcome ramadan oh ramadan okay viewers welcome 
uh, we are still discussing Eid al Fitr and then post Ramadan. Post Ramadan. Adia, let's talk about dress, especially women. As for the men, I don't have problem with them. Uh, they dress nicely and, and they are very, very handsome when it comes to Eid and Juma prayers. So let's talk about women. Women too, we dress nicely, right? Yes. Okay. But some of us overdo it. Well. Mm. <laughs> so what are you going to? What advice are you going to give to our ladies, both married and then unmarried? As for the marriage, obviously yes. Our we will dress nicely because your husband will be monitoring, mm. and they will be saying, "Oh, dear, do it this way or wear this or this." But our unmarried, hmm, that's where the problem is. Well. Mm. When it comes to dressing in general, mm. there are a lot of things we don't consider mm. before we dress. Yes. We kind of go along with trends mm. without relating the trends to our own persons, mm. objectives, mm. and who we are. Mm. In fact, we are, we, we are addressed the way we dress. Mm. So if we dress such that we earn respect, we would earn respect. Sure. If we dress such that we are ridiculed, we'll be ridiculed. Mm. And trust me, mm. some dress types make men or others ridiculous. Mm. Allah and his prophet has mm. made Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has made has set a standard for us. Mm. A standard that identifies us okay. as Muslims. Okay. A standard that identifies us so that you would find a child and know whether the child comes from a home or oh. comes from a house. Yes. So our dressing is spelled out. It tells a lot about us. It's spelled out. Mm. It is said that we are expected to wear dresses that would cover us. Okay. The cover, if you have a saucepan mm. and you have a lid to it, mm. that cover, mm. it gives it. should be said that you don't really see the contents in it of the suspect, mm. right? Mm. So we are expected to cover every part of our bodies as women or females, mm. our faces mm. and our hands mm. and our feet exposed. may be exposed, mm. even that in moderate. Mm. When what's what's the use of dressing up when your figure? can just be taken out like that. You've dressed and then your figure is so revealing. You've dressed and the, the legs, your legs can be seen in your dress. Mm. You've dressed, in fact, some people buy very beautiful fabrics, mm. laces, satin, and the rest, and the fabrics are not lined. Mm. And so you can see through, particularly children, mm. and this uh, uh, confused age, I call them young adults, yeah. all right? They sew dresses and the dresses are tightening them as if they've been they've been chained in, in those in dresses. Bondage. In bondage. <laughs> and and that is bondage, I tell it you. Is. That is bondage because why should you use your money to, to buy, buy your material and then uh, as if you are in bondage? You, you only buy the material. Free. You, you buy the material and pay mm. for the making mm. of the dress. Mm. And yet you you are you are out of breath in the dress. That is it. Out of it's breath is the right way. you word. out. <laughs> Please, we mm. are Muslims. Mm -hmm. Our label defines us. Mm. Our label tells our story. Yes. Our label dignifies. We are who we are, not what somebody wants us to be. Exactly. Because if some, somebody is sitting somewhere mm. telling you that. If you reveal your cleavage, you are if looking you, nice. your, you look sexy and that is modern. I mean, we, we, should, we shouldn't follow them. We are who we are mm. and nobody can change us. Yes. Uh, so let's dress according to what Allah has said and what our prophet taught us. We Period. are believing women mm. as it were. Mm. And so we must be seen mm. to be dressing mm. as such. That is it's it. that simple. Mm. When you dress, I keep telling my mm. students, when you dress, mm. stand in front of the mirror. Yes. Turn, mm. bend, mm. squat, mm -hmm. sit. Mm -hmm. Do the, all the actions you do when you go outside mm. and see if you like what you see. Or you are comfortable One, with exactly. it. And also ask yourself if the prophet would allow this. 
Mm. If it were for all, if the prophet's wives mm. and daughters mm. would be allowed to dress like this, mm. ask yourself, be the first critic of mm. yourself. That is it. Once you do that, you see that you go out and you have no shame to protect. I mean, mm. you are covered, well covered, mm. and you show an assumed respect, mm. and so you will be respected back. Yes, that is it. And veil nicely. Very and important. And go and perform that wonderful to Rakat prayer and listen to, to the Kutuba and uh, partake in the dua and weep for Allah to make this an acceptable act for you yes. and to keep you till the next Ramadan. That should be the focus. Yes. That should be the focus. Thank you. So our focus should be our dressing and our focus should be what we tell Allah to make us witness a lot of Ramadan in our lives, Nisha Allah. Adia, um, uh, you you are a fashioner, a, a fashionist. You, you deal. You are a fashion designer. Let let me put it that way. You lecture uh, fashion uh, people. People have passed through your hands. Let me ask this: Is our footwear part of our dressing? Is it part of uh, dress code? When we talk about dress code, it's footwear, the headgear or the cap or whatever. Is it part of it? Because a number of times when you go to eat, sometimes I marvel. Not even eat alone. You see somebody wearing a footwear and the person is not comfortable, not able to walk, but the person is forcing herself to wear that long thing because it is fashion. It's, that is trending and people are wearing it. So I also have to wear. Aja, what are you going to talk about footwear? Footwear, is it part fact, of dressing? When you are teaching fashion, do you add those kind of things yes mm. yes indeed it is mm. dress is anything that you add to the body that alters what it is what your body is okay so, so makeup is part of it yes it is and accessories like everything earrings and everything okay. body marks okay makeup okay. lipstick okay um jewelry right. footwear socks mm. everything mm. that you put on your body <laughs> is part of dress all right is referred to as dress. dress. Mm. So mm. dress is supposed to make you comfortable. Mm. It's supposed to fit. Okay. It's supposed to meet a certain standard. Mm. What function you are going for and what role you are going to play. Mm. So the occasion, mm. your role, mm. um, the time, your look, it's all included mm. in what dress you wear. And that is why that line says, you are what you wear. You wear. So mm. if you force to wear a high heel because it's trending, mm. be it a block, mm. be it a pencil, mm. and you have to literally squat and walk, it will show in your walking that you are not confident. Mm. And that is where the ridicule will come in. Mm. Why don't you, my sister, wear what you can walk in comfortably that is it. and confidently that is it. and elegantly mm -hmm. to and back? Mm. Why do you wear something that you can't walk in and you walk to the ground and then when you are going back, you wear slippers mm. back home? That is it. It's, it's that, not the best. It. I mean, or sometimes they will step, the, if, if it is sandals, for instance, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the buggled one, they will step on it. It's not ladylike to no, dress like I that. Mean, uh, if you have buggled sandals and you feel like you are not confined, so you have to step, you, you understand then wear what slippers I mean. so that you it can flip flop that is behind it. your That is your it. Heel. But you don't wear buggled and then step on the, the, the buggled mm -hmm. one. No, it's not, it's not ladylike. Mm -hmm. It's not. Adia, uh, uh, makeups. Muslim, do we wear makeups? Well, um, as far as I know, we are not expected to wear makeup. Really? Yes. Mm. Um, you know, there are some things the heart desires, mm. and it hinders some compulsory acts of ours. But for I, instance, let me, I'm not cutting you. Mm. You know, no, I'll come to what, I know what you are, you yes, are going to say. Like I'll makeup. come to it. I'll makeup come to that. is an integral part of a woman. I'll come if, to that. Okay. I'll come to that. All right. I'll come to that. What I am driving at mm. is this. Mm. If you have to make up, mm. have it in mind that mm. if nature calls mm. and you do that mm. and you have to change your ablution, mm. you are going to wash off your makeup. Sure. That is going to change your look that you came from your home with. Mm. If 
you think through your makeup activity. Mm. Then maybe you have to keep a brush mm. or a pons or a handkerchief, you know, uh, with face powder in your bag so that you won't be struggling to squeeze um, air that wants to come out because when it does come out, you have to do ablution. Yes. So anything that would hinder you from that is what I'm driving mm -hmm. at. Anything that would hinder you from performing your obligatory acts, mm -hmm. you should do away with. But so yeah, if no? you have to make up mm. just um, to look nice mm. in your outfit, mm. and you know very well mm. that nature can call at any time, yes. then have an extra face powder okay. in your purse okay. so that it wouldn't change your look from you to another person. Mm. That is what I'm driving at. Okay. And, but that makeup where you almost lose your identity, mm. for me, it's a no-no. Mm. A makeup where you are not recognized, whether this is uh, Rukaya or this is uh, Hajiya Mariam, it is not mm. uh, something you should encourage because um. it takes time as well. Yes. So yes. this, you know, brief one that can make you look just beautiful in your attire, mm. it's okay for right. me. Viewers, you are still watching Dean GH TV. I, I, I talk about makeup. I talked about makeup. Uh, and nowadays, because of technology, there are waterproof makeups. But we are, uh, that's not the issue at stake. Um, what I want to talk about is, you know, when I talk about makeup, I'm not talking about this modern makeup that we are talking about. Cosmetics, we have our you mean. Yes, we have our coal. The yes. coil that we put on, the black, yes. uh -huh. that's and it's encouraged. makeup, that is and it is beautiful. Yes. And in the olden day, that's what our mothers put on to, and to us, and it makes us beautiful. Have you realized that that's, that does not wash off easily? It doesn't. Exactly. It doesn't. It doesn't. Even it can stay till when you get the correct one, two, three days, mm. and you, you can still have it. Yes. And so when we were kids, they, they put that, and it is a very beautiful makeup. Yes, it the is. The coal, and then your little powder, mm. and then your pencil for the uh, the, the brows mm -hmm. and you are going mm -hmm. and now Ajia, when you go to eat and you see somebody's eyelashes ah uh, turning when you see you run away <laughs> you run away as if the person did not come from home mm -hmm. ah so I when I asked myself so this person the dressing did somebody see him where is his mother and father mm -hmm. who, who, who does he stay with did they see him coming out and why didn't they, do they love her? Why didn't they correct her? Those kind of things. So may Allah makes it easy for her. May Amen. Allah forgive us. Um, uh, we, we, should, we should minimize or we should reduce the making up. It's beautiful. It's an integral part of a woman. We cannot do away with makeup. We can do, but we should do it moderately. Moderately, please. The word is moderate. And you left something out. Uh -huh. Our we nice lily. Thank you. Okay, our nice lily. The design one, yes, the that. red one. It's all makeup. It's it's, it's better than the the cutest. The oh, long on nails. Cutest. The where long where nails. will your blushing water uh, touch? It will and touch so you don't. In the first place, when you wear the long nails, you don't have a blushing. Okay. And if you don't have a blushing, you don't have salad. Exactly. Your salad is nullified. And it when is about salad. You come and pray. Mm -hmm. So what we are talking about is we should minimize certain things called modernity. Mm. In fact, we can be ha uh, how we are what, and still what we, what have, we have is timeless. That is it. What it's we timeless. have is timeless and it's beautiful. It's timeless. Beautiful. In fact, when I wear the red, the lily, uh, what we call the hina uh, uh, in some lily, it keeps lying, then your colleagues will see it. Hey, it's beautiful. Mm. Give me some. I want some. And they will be worrying you. They know you can't get It's natural. Mm. They are leaves. And it's very beautiful. And now, modernity, there are design ones that you can put on and you look nicely. And we should do away with this huge makeup that make us uh, 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 like. We, uh, we, 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 we are <laughs> masquerading. We are all masquerading. The okay. May Allah help us. May Allah make it easy for us. That day, the Eid day, mm. is also a day of sharing. Okay. Sharing. Um, you go to visit. Yeah, sharing folks. is caring. Remember. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. You go to visit family and friends. Mm. And and when you go to the Eid ground, you can even take toffees, candies after Biscuits, prayer. Yeah, that's you what. You share to, to children. the children. Yeah. 
it's 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 also desire it's yeah. it, it's a it's a desirable thing mm -hmm. to do mm. I, I, after all that day is supposed to be a happy day i, I was there something mm. during each day mm. you see um excuse me to say our beggars mm. i i don't like it when i see them begging for arms on each day each day is not supposed uh, th these things should not be we, we should we should have as a society we should put uh, something there for them at least um, that's why the zaka is there the zaka till fetal is there but uh, it's it's not enough it's not enough i think if they our leaders can make it such that those who beg they shouldn't beg they should sit down and pray with us comfortably and sit down and enjoy the meal so somebody apart from biscuits and then toffees somebody i've seen one or two cooking real meal jollof food with meat packing it and come and share to the poor in the eat on the eat ground and it helps even some people even take it they are not poor but they take and eat and it's a i i think indomie when you go to kumasi you see indomie they will come and mount their products and they cook for children will come and take grown-ups will come and take so those who beg they, they go there and then take some of the indomie and and then eat so we can have a lot of we can have a lot of food there you can come and you are it's a form of advertising your product mm -hmm. uh, on the eat ground and it's also you are serving the community as well so i don't like it when beggars beg during eat day it's not a day of begging it's well, a day to make merry a day to to share to care and then to show love and i think we can also have one or two but i, I will be expecting my idle idle fitter presents uh, uh during a day parceled and then giving to me i'll inshallah. be expecting it inshallah. Inshallah. and inshallah. then for my husband too i'll be expecting my aid uh package. May, I, right. may allah make it easy for all amin, of us amin, and amin. May, may we live to see that amin, day. Amin, 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 amin. viewers we come to the end of the program it has been an interesting part of this program especially with the dressing i enjoyed you talking about it Adia, thank you very much you're May Allah bless pleasure. you and bless the womb that bore you. Amen. Uh, may Allah bless the womb that bore you. May I Allah mean. bless you. And may Allah bless your husband because I mean, yeah, he I gave mean. you this opportunity to come and sit here and then educate us on so many things. I mean, may uh, Allah bless the whole ummah. I mean, we dead thank and living. Yes. Uh, we want to show our appreciation to uh, Umar Farouk Sanda and then um, Maru. They are our technical men. And then I want to thank Alhaji Kamil Bala too. He gave us this place. And we thank everybody who was watching us. We wish everybody the Ramadan, Kareem, Adil Fitil, Mubarak. And then also we thank our Almighty Allah for how far He has brought us. My name is Fatima Baba Ahmed Kone. Wassalamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali wa Sayy wa Sallam. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sayyidi Raiz. Sanufturu fi al-Quds. Asimatu fi al-Istin. Yiktubuha Rabbi. Oh, <laughs>